Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. This DIY I'll be creating an entryway table and a hanging lamp using pool noodles. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. For my first DIY I'll be starting off with 4 wooden rods. Next I took my hand drill and I'll be pre-drilling holes on both sides on all 4. Next, I'll be using two pack canvases. Some will remove the fabric off the canvases and only use the wood part, but I'll be leaving mine on because I feel that it adds more support. Next, I'll be placing one inch markings on all four corners. Once I was done, I pre-drilled the holes. I repeated the same steps on both. Next, I'll be using one and a half inch screws and I'll be screwing in the screws on the tabletop. Once I was done, I'll be attaching the rod and I'll repeat the same steps on the next three. I repeated the same steps for the bottom. Next, I'll be using leftover pool noodles that I have from previous projects and I'll be placing half inch markings and then I'll use my box cutter to cut them. I ended up cutting 110. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Because I need to glue my cut pool noodles in a straight line, I'll be using this rod. And all I did was just add a drop of glue and glue them together. To start, I glued 13 together. Next, I'll continue the same steps in between the spaces.
As I continue gluing them, the rolls will be getting smaller. I did 5 rows. I repeated the same steps and made 2 and I glued 55 on each for a total of 110. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms linked below. Next I brought back my table and I'll be gluing on the pool noodle fences one on each side. I want to add a little bit of support in the center but still keep it open so I'll be using this large skewer and I'll be cutting three pieces three inches long. I'll be gluing them from the back side. If you like this DIY video, please give me a thumbs up and share. It really helps me out a lot and it lets me know that you enjoy videos like this. Next, I took a long ruler and I'll be repeating the same steps and I'll be gluing seven together. I'll repeat the same gluing steps in between the spaces. I made 5 rows and I made 2 and I'll be using these for the sides of the table. Next I took both of my pieces and I glue them on the side but I would need to cut a little bit to make it fit. Next I sprayed the entire table with one coat of Mod Podge to prevent the foam from melting and then I gave it two coats of metallic silver spray paint. Next, I'll be using acrylic mirror stickers and these come with a protective film in the front and they self-adhesive on the back. Even though they are self-adhesive, I'll be using hot glue to hold them in place and I'll place them where the skewers meet. And I'll repeat the same steps on the next two. I also place them on both sides. Next, I'll be using strips of diamond wrap and I'll glue them on the top edge of the table and the bottom part. For my tabletop, I'll be using a glass sheet that I purchased at my local Home Depot. Even though it is longer than the table, but it's what I want it. Next, I'll be using two Dollar Tree platters and I'll cut the center and only use the outside part. Next, I'll apply hot glue on the back side and I'll be placing them on the front of the table, two on each side. Next, I'll use an acrylic mirror sticker and I'll be cutting it and using the pieces to cover up the imperfections. I ended up cutting some of the sides so it won't stick out. I will also repeat the same steps with the outside part of the platter on both sides of the table. I repeated the same steps with the acrylic stickers. For my second DIY, I already pre-glued cut pool noodles 2 with 8 and 2 with 5. Because I'll be gluing them all four together, I'll be using this box to hold the shape. The box was not wide enough, so I just pushed them back. 
to make it fit, I just cut a little bit off the corner. Next, I'll continue gluing them in between the spaces going around. On all four corners for support, I'll be gluing them in an angle. I'll continue gluing them until I have five rows on all four sides. I repeated the same steps and made five rows on all four sides. Next, I'll use two large skewers and I'll insert it through the holes and then I'll cut it to size and then I'll glue them in place and I repeated the same steps with the second one. I repeated the same steps by cutting the skewers to size and I'll be gluing them inside and this will make the lamp much stronger. I took two pieces of foam board cut to size and I'll be gluing them inside. Once my lamp is completed, I'll be placing inside two LED remote touch lights. I'll be gluing on acrylic mirror stickers in the center on all four sides. I glued on diamond wrap strips on the top edge of the lamp. To hang my lamp, I'll be using hanging plant chains and they only come three in a pack. So I'll be using an extra pack to use an extra chain. Once I was done, I spray painted metallic silver and set it aside. Next, I cut four pieces of the platter of the outside part and I cut them to size and I'll be gluing them inside on all four sides. I took the chain and added book rings on the ends and then I hanged it on all four corners on the lamp. I really do love the way both projects turned out and what I love the most is that they are different and unique. This project did take some time to complete because cutting all those donut holes from the pool noodles and then gluing them together, but at the end it was worth it. Let's not forget how glamorous and chic it will look when the lights are down. I did forget to mention that I added two LED remote touch lights underneath the tabletop to give it some beautiful lighting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy both DIYs as much as I enjoy creating them. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.